I'm going to go to Senator Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma, um, what he makes all of this. And, Senator, I know you're a senator. So the, right. some of the drama in the House that you, you don't have to pay as much attention to, but I'm sure you have some thoughts on this move on the part of at least Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, to vacate the Speaker, uh, much as was done uh, to his predecessor, Kevin McCarthy. What do you think of it all? Well, Neil, you know, I'm very close to, the, to my friends in the House. I still go over there quite often. I, I, I uh, probably go to half their caucuses or conferences. Hmm. Um, and, and Marjorie Taylor Greene is a, is, a, is a good friend of mine. I think this is a huge mistake. I believe this causes dysfunction in the House when it shouldn't be there. Um, Speaker Johnson is doing the best he could. Kev McCarthy did the best he could. The cards are the same. No matter who is Speaker, they have to figure out how to govern. And it's not ever going to be easy, it's, it, 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 especially in a very thin majority that Speaker Johnson and Speaker McC McCarthy both had to deal with. But you have to negotiate. And people will get confused in Washington, D.C. between negotiating and compromising. In business, they always say Washington, D.C. needs to operate more like a business. But in business, you're always negotiating. Up here, when you start negotiating, they think you're compromising your values. They think that you're, that you're, you're a sellout or you're a rhino. And what it is, is that they're trying to keep the government operating moving forward so our adversaries like China can't take advantage of us. And when something like this happens, all it does is cause more dysfunction. So I, 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 I adamantly disagree with what she's trying to get done here because it seems to me it's more of a publicity stunt than it is actually reality on what and how to move this country forward. Well, you know, the rap against your party, sir, uh, is that you don't know how to negotiate. You're lousy at it, and you have a track record where the Democrats constantly seem to get the better of you. How, how do you answer that? Well, I, I think it's because the Democrats have a good, uh, or a good, they do a good job about staying together. Um, and, and the Republican Party, it's like trying to herd cats. Uh, it just, it, you, everybody's going different directions. And it's not wrong. I mean, everybody's independent, and, and that's okay. Republicans should be independent thinking. But once the play call is called, then we all have to run to the line and, and, and execute that play call. And we don't do that. Uh, sometimes we allow uh, perfection to get in the way of, uh, of good, and there's never a perfect bill. And sometimes our, my colleagues on the far right of the party, they're always looking for, for perfection or always looking for the Hail Mary or the home run. And it just, it's not ever going to be good enough for some individuals. Um, as a senator, you have a lot to say and weigh in on these foreign policy issues and this attack in Moscow, just the latest. Uh, where it seems Vladimir Putin, Senator, is pointing the finger at the Ukrainians, making a big deal of the fact that those who were arrested were on their way to Ukraine. Now, uh, right. Kiev, of course, uh, has denied that that is the case. Uh, but what do you think is festering here? What do you think his next move will be here? Well, I think Putin is, is showing himself as a dictator. Uh, he knows the truth. He knows good and well that it wasn't Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine came out adamantly, denied it. ISIS has already come out and accepted responsibility for it. We actually warned Moscow several weeks ago that this was intimate, right. not possible, intimate. And we also put out a warning to all American citizens that were in Russia not to go to mass gatherings. We did that a couple of weeks ago. So we had good intel letting them know this was going to happen. What Putin is trying to do is use this for an opportunity to justify his unjustifiable invasion of Ukraine and the killings of innocent uh, people uh, bo on both sides from Russia to Ukraine because of the war that he started. So he knows the truth. I believe the American people know the truth. Unfortunately, he controls the media in Russia, and this is just a media propaganda that he's trying to spin here. Senator, thank you very much. We'll be monitoring all those developments. Very good seeing you again. Thank you. Thanks for having me on.